Hi everyone. Good day to you. Happy Monday. I'm having a little cup of tea first. Did you hear me slurping? That was awesome. Hello guys. Welcome to my world. Hi everyone. Good day to you. Hi everyone. Welcome, welcome. So, how you doing? How's your world? Hi Natalie. How's your world and what's coming up for you? I've got a thousand things I could talk about with you guys. I'm so excited for what access is being in the world and the leadership of like Dave and Brendan, Simone and Gary and like what we're exploring. Hi, hi Juliana, hi Yvonne. Uh, hi Marta. There's so much in my world and like yesterday was full of like tears of gratitude for Dean here and he's doing something this week on a sort of telecall called ESB, big ESB sessions. And they are amazing, absolutely amazing. And he had one yesterday for the staff um, that are facilitating being new classes and maestro classes, not the staff, the people that are facilitating being new classes and maestro classes, who are CFs. I can't even get my words out. Do you get when they talk about this, they sort of go everywhere. It's one of those things that just popped me into gratitude beyond than anything I've ever had before. So that was Sunday. And then on Friday, there was a beautiful 24 hours, Friday to Saturday of the wizard clearings. And I was so lucky to be part of that. And there's one clearing that really stood out for me that I wanted to run with you today. Now, they're doing a whole program for this and people will be able to purchase it for Actions for Futures and um, um, what's it called? Trees, forests for futures. Here we go. So here we go. So this is a clearing. Wait, wait to fix my glasses. There we go. So um, there was one that I just burst out laughing through and I wanted to talk about it. I'm going to try and find it now. Da, 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 da. And typically I can't find it now. So what have I done with it? Additional processes. Thanks for being with me, guys. Have you got anything you want to put in the chat just now that I can get to in a minute? Oh, here we go. Typically, when I ask that, it shows up with magnitude. So, what energy, space, consciousness and choice, magic, miracle, mystery and possibilities can you and your body be to be the most batshit crazy mofo on planet Earth with total ease for all eternity? And anything that doesn't allow that, will you just join and create? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, con, and sure, boys, meons. So as you can see, even talking about it now, it's coming up in my world that I am so happy with that clearing. So what is it about being batshit crazy that we're taught not to be, that if we allow ourselves to be that energy, we'll change everything in our worlds? So not looking at acting out, which is doing batshit crazy, it's allowing the energies that we're opposed to, where we're taught that we can't be this, 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 and this, into our worlds and allowing our worlds to just light up with all of that energy. Because if you think you're trying not to be batshit crazy, because if you be it, everyone will avoid you or you'll be annihilated by others or you'll get judged or you'll get bullied or whatever because you're being that little bit crazy, that little bit batshit crazy, that is a doing, that's not actually a being. Whereas if you drop your barriers and ask you to be batshit crazy, there's no action, there's an energy that comes in. And I don't know about you guys, and this is what I wanted to ask you, that totally and utterly lights up my world. I wanted to ask you, what does that create for you? What does that open up for you? What does that expand for you? What does that, yeah, what does it light up? What does it ignite? There's a really good one. What does it ignite in your world? 
what flavour is it? And if you allow the flavour to build, what does it explode into? Not from the doing, not from the action, but from the energetics of it. Now, for those of you who are on here that were on my call last week, which was Thursday, um, it's called, uh, it was called, um, this is me, no apologies. It was a bit of a uh, facilitation and then an energetic exercise. That is amazing in my world. That really, really allowed me to be present with the energy of the beginning of this is me. And like every single one of my classes and these Facebook lives are all building into something so dynamically different that I'm asking to be present with in my world. And hey guys, get this, whether you want to choose it or not, I don't know, but you're coming on for the ride. So if you're willing to, would you be willing to now to destroy and create everything that's stopping you being present with you, the being, and your ask as a being without your head getting in the way? And anything that doesn't allow you to be, no perceive and receive the energetic being and contribution that you are, are you willing to just join and create that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, on, I'm sure it's boys and beyonds. Wow, that's got my implant band running like mad. Oh, that was the other brilliant thing. On Saturday, Brendan did a class called Relax and Receive, and it was all about running your own bars. It was awesome. And then on Sunday, Sarah and uh, Sarah Gandanetti and Emily Russell did a class that was $35, which was nothing, for three hours on stress, relieving stress, relaxing into beyond stress, relaxing into being. All of that was fucking amazing. What a weekend in access. I was like that, geez, oh, where else in the world can we create so much exuberance and life and asking to be something beyond everything that's going on in our worlds and not make it about the problem? So, hi Becky, all of this, hi Cindy, all of this is absolutely phenomenal in my world. And what it did was it made me really realize, you know, how much am I not choosing to be me and stay with a problem in my world? So guys, this is for you too. What problems are you using to create the life you are choosing? And everything it doesn't allow you to be, know, perceive, and receive the energies beyond that ask. Can we just join and create? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, on, in shorts, boys, me ons. So the whole idea of asking for all the inventions we create in our lives to stop us, to make us problematic, to focus on the problem over here so we don't live our life here. All of that is what we use to stop ourselves, to limit ourselves, to keep us normal, to keep us the same as everybody, average, real and true in our lives. But if we're willing, and I'm going to ask you to really be present with this, if, you're, if you are willing to drop your barriers and be so vulnerable with you, if you're willing to drop your barriers and be so vulnerable with you and ask for something beyond the right and the wrong, and the problems that are in your world. If we all chose that, how different would the world be? How different would your life be? Isn't it exciting? So anything that doesn't allow that, can we just join and create? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, on, sure, spoils me on. So that to me is part of being me. And that energetic exercise that I did last week was the beginning of unwrapping who we are and then we're moving on to I'm so lucky because I've got ESB sessions this week and I've got attending with Dane and I've got facilitators class and there's so much coming up but the next call series I've got is something called escapology now escapology is the art of getting out of restraints so how many restraints do you create in your world that keep you at the effect of effect of your life, your living and your reality and everything that is can we destroy and create it all, right and wrong, good and bad, pop, pop, on, shorts, boys and beyonds. 
So by restraints, I mean like, oh, I can't do that because, or I better not do that because. So there's the, there's the decisions, the judgments and the conclusions of why not, which is the mind, to choose to move forward into something. That's not a being, that is a doing, and that's the mind getting in the way. So what other problems do you tie yourself up with? Well, another of the problems could be your body. How much do you say, oh, my body's in pain, therefore I can't do this, do that, or choose something else? Where does it use your body as a restraint? And what else is possible there? So I've got emails coming in, I'm just moving them out of the way. Where else do you tie yourself up in knots? Where else do you create a problem and then get out of it and say, oh, that pain's gone. Yeah, I did that. High five to me. How many consciousness light -like problems do you create in your world to acknowledge the facilitation you can be of you to get out of the restraints and the constructs that you have created? <laughs> that's going to all of that are you willing to just join and create and acknowledge that the little things that you make wrong significant and matter and real and true are the things that bind you to a chain of this reality and your own making of your life living in reality if you chose to acknowledge the problem and receive it without having to do anything, just say, oh, I've got a big bill in, it's not a problem, what way can I, question, what way can I ask to pay that? What way can I pay that bill? What money is going to come to me? What energy, space, consciousness and choice can I ask for that will facilitate me into being more to receive more? And it's the receiving that we stop by making ourselves have a problem. Hi, Sheena. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, on, and short, spoils me on. So how many problems exist in your world? A little, a lot, or megaton? <laughs> Truthfully. Because <laughs> guys, I don't get it right. I create problems every bloody day, excuse me for swearing, but I do, every day I create problems. Because if I think, if I try and get the problem fixed, then I will have the solution to being, then it's like, oh, here we go, I'm creating a problem again, barriers down, what energy, space, consciousness and choice can I be with this energy that will create something different? Hi Ruthie, welcome darling. And if we choose that, then what opens up? is that there is no problem. There's a melting and being with the problem that actually eliminates it instantaneously because you're choosing to go beyond it, not with your mind, but with all of you. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, on, in, shorts, boys and beyonds. I don't know what you're saying. Please say three heel Marys. Your excuse, please say three Hail Marys. Don't get that one, Ruth, sorry. So looking at where the problems are and where how to be with that and eliminate it and change it is not about getting the problem right to fix it, to change it, and therefore get out of the wrongness. It's actually about being present with whatever you think the problem is and pod in your points of view and being interesting point of view with it. In truth, there are no problems. The only thing is, is we invent them to try and create our lives. So everything that is times a godzillion, are you willing to just join and create? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, on, in shorts, boys, me on. So if we didn't choose to have these problems, if we didn't create our life from these problems, if we didn't invent these problems and escape from them, then what the heck is open up for us now? If everyone we know is choosing to be different with that, 
then what would it create? What would your relationships be like? What would your communication with everyone else be like? And how different would your communication with you be? And this is a key part, guys. It's not about fixing out there. It's actually about being present with who you are truly without the lies, the agenda and the problems that you invent. Or we all invent because I'm going to keep myself in that one just now because I still invent problems every day. So part of the key of this is also something that was said on the wizard's call. And that's running 100 times a day. And I do it twice. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. And we can keep going. That is my ask for your homework, guys. Would you be willing to even put that on a loop and listen to it? So record it a hundred times, put it on a loop and listen to it. And what it does begin to create is like a different space. <sighs> Thank you, Yvonne, for doing all the Oracle stuff today. I really appreciate that. Thank you. What inventions are you using to create the needs you're choosing? Yeah. What if you have it all, Sheena, already? What if you already be all of that and have everything that you require in your world? As energetic beings, we do. We are the world and everything is us. There's a oneness there. So when you're being that present, that it opens up even more. Good day to you, Troy. Thank you so much too, darling. So all of this is the beginning of a journey. And if you're willing to continue to ride this, we're on 18 today. So like next Monday is number 19. So we're going to keep going with these Facebook lives and keep the thrum, which to me is like a trrr. It feels like, you know, a billion pink unicorns dancing in stardust, like pulling us in the direction of consciousness. Like that creation, that element of being is so showing up in my world and I am choosing it regardless. So I'm going to still come on here, whether you decide to come on or not, that's your choice, guys. I'm still going to come on here and keep going. Because even just one more person receives one of my clearings, I know it's a contribution. But if you walk away from here and you're aware of the difference in your space and where you came on the live to where you are now, if you take that with you, who else in your world can receive that? And what gift are you when you resonate that frequency, acoustical frequency, through your world into everyone's world? So we live our lives from the problems, mirroring that, mirroring that onto others. So I know if my husband's had a bad day, he'll come home and mirror it onto me and have a go at me just to try and eliminate that energy. Now, if I know that and drop my barriers, not that I'm a doormat, but if I allow myself to receive that without judgment and be an allowance of his choice, as long as he doesn't force anything onto me, I'm willing to be that energy for him that contributes to him in a different way in return. So I'm willing to mirror consciousness to him and not the reaction. How dare you talk to me like that? Who do you think you are? You come in like that. This is a difference that access tools offer us all. To eliminate the frantic, the reactionary, the judgment and the annihilation of other people so we feel right and they feel wrong. If we stop that with ourselves, then it stops in our relationships. And it's not one choice. It's an ongoing evolution of choosing to be present with everything that's in your world and continually journeying with it. So my darlings, it's been a soapbox day. If you've got any questions, stick them in the chat. I've got a couple more minutes. 
da, 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 da. I've got my glasses on. Ah, yeah, and one other thing as well is I've been really asking my body what it requires because I'm in a lot of access classes, so I sit at my computer a lot. Um, and what I'm really getting is to move more. So asking my body what it requires, and I do sometimes, like, you'll notice me, like, being autistic that I will shift and change and move my body and like very much the EDD part is about moving and creating. So what if you actually ask for a little bit more movement every day that will allow your body to flow with ease, joy and glory? What can you add in there? And what else is possible? So my next invite is to see you next Monday and then the beginning of um, when does escapology start? I think it's the 26th of January is that. So if you go to jennyb.com slash events, you'll see my classes there. There's also a free telecall for X-Men in February if you want to sign up for that too. Um, and that's just inviting on and looking at where we still hide ourselves. So very much just now the theme is where we're hiding, what we're refusing to be and what we can, we can keep choosing it. And they may go over the same thing in the same way in a different way each time. So be beginning to choose that and to annihilate the problem out your world by being the consciousness and the drive and the ask, the question of being you. So my darlings, thank you so much, Troy, that's beautiful. You guys take care. I'm going to say bye-bye for now. Have a wonderful day and light up your world in every way. Take care, see you next Monday. Bye. Thank you. You're so sweet, thanks now. Bye now. Ah.